Okay, we are recording. So, um, thank you all for getting on. I know it's our Sunday night routine. Um, it's the last day of the month, so I know we're all kind of grinding or finishing the month out. Um, so I wanted to end the month with two freaking rock stars. Um, I'm so excited to hear from them tonight. I know by the end of this call, your energy is going to be up and you're going to be ready and you're probably not going to want to sleep tonight because you're going to be ready to kick off June already. So um, I'll go ahead and let Shivana, you want to go first, right? You want to go ahead and go? Um, I'll let Shivana tell her story um, and all her tips and just all the things and then we will get to Claire after that. Okay, hold on. Am I muted? Okay. So first off, I'm Shivana, 4K leader. Um, my biggest tip to you guys. Well, first off, can I just say that I have came a long flipping way. Like, wait a minute, can you guys see me? I don't know what happened here. Okay. So anyway, it I it took me 14 months to get to 4K. And that's like, I can't even say that's crazy because it happens, but I don't want you guys to get like in your head about where you are starting from and getting stuck. Because the best tip I can give to you is to show up. Like you have no idea how it feels like when you're trying your hardest and what you're doing and then you're like, how can I do this different? How can I do that different? How do I know when to follow, when to unfollow? Like making sure you're doing all the things. And I would ask my robot all the time, like, what more can I do? What am I doing wrong? Like this that, and other, like people are engaging with me, but I'm not still in the deal. Like I didn't know where my disconnect lied. So, and when you know you're doing everything and they can even tell you, well, hey, like, I don't have any tips because you're doing all the things as far as I can see. Like, you're doing the same things I'm doing. So now um, that makes you reflect more on yourself. Like, now you're in the mode of where, how do I come from this? Like, we all have the same time in the day. We all are going for the same ranks, the same, you know, promotions and all those things. But we're all going to do it differently. We're all going to rise differently. And... It took me longer because I felt like I just had to learn how to show up. Like, it's easy to say, oh, we just share our story. But do you really know how to share your story? Are you covering all your ins and outs? I Like, I'm a hardcore three-stepper, three steps on my story every single day. But it wasn't until I started showing other products and other aspects of the business that I started reaching the people that I needed to pull in for me and the business. Like I suffer with nerve damage. I had to start talking about, I started talking about that. People reached out to me because that, you know, like I opened up about like, I used to be a workaholic, you know, like district manager mom, tired all the time. Like there may be someone on your timeline that's like, well, I don't need to lose weight. So they're not interested in your weight loss products and all of that type of stuff. But I am tired. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm tired. I need energy. What is she doing? I need that. So make sure when you're showing up, it's not an all-day thing. Make sure that you're covering all your odds and ends. Don't get so stuck on pushing one thing that you forget. We offer a whole lot of things. If you haven't tried it, then speak on other people's experiences. Speak on or try it. You know, like, we should all be doing all We get free product credit, like, there is nothing to try a product. You don't like it, hey, throw it in a mini pack. You know what I'm saying? Like, there are ways to do this. Get the products in people's hands. That was a big thing for me, too, because, like, sampling is my thing. I have never had a problem with getting the product out there. But my thing is, I'm like, okay, now the product's on, and they didn't order. Like, what do I do now? I'm stuck again. Keep showing up. Keep growing your network. You'll figure out who you're reaching out to. Make sure you're paying just as much attention to your out audience as they're paying attention to you. Like we watch and see who's following us, who's commenting on our stories, who's commenting on our posts. We write them down, we jot them down, we follow up with them and all that. But you should also be paying attention to those people. So when they do finally reach out to you, you'll know exactly where they're falling short. You should know what they're needing before they even reach out to you. 
I cannot tell you, there are so many people who have reached out to me to where when I finally did, like they ordered from me, I already knew what they needed. Like this girl was on my timeline talking about, oh, how tired she is. I'm like, baby, you need the capsules. You need rest because she can't sleep at night. Like I know this girl. I'm not saying break it down and know every single, you know, their social security number, their name or anything like that. I'm just saying you should have a pretty good idea of who you're dealing with. That's what I mean. Goals. I spoke on this the other day when I did a team training. Um, set goals. And I know we beat that drum a lot, like mindset and set goals and things like that. But it is so true because if you're pushing for a certain goal and you miss it, set the bar higher the next month. Like we're going to go into a new month. You should not go into it with the same goals. I don't care if you did miss them. You should up your game. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit your goal from last month or you're going to exceed it. My goal for this month was to go 4K. My volume right now, like I'm not bragging or anything, but like it's $5,000. My goal was $4,000. You see what I'm saying? Set the bar to what you want to achieve and don't just run for that. I tell Candy this all the time, like, you got to step into those panties. Like, I told her that I was going to step into my 4K panties, and I did that. So now, every time I do something, she's like, oh, I didn't think of that. Like, you know, or you're stepping up and you're doing this. I'm like, okay, now I'm stepping into those 12K panties. Like, I'm not just staying here. It's a growing process, and I'm ready for that. I'm ready to take the next level because it took me so long to grow myself. I had to figure out what works for me, what works with my audience, who am I reaching out to, who are my people? All of this is so important. Make sure that you are taking in all of that. You know, I'm gonna slow my roll because I'm a long-winded person and like I get to go and then like, okay, we're gonna flip over to Claire because like I can just talk you guys to death, but I'll slow my roll there. No girl, you're fine. I just got home. Um, my son was tripping, so it's perfect timing. Um, so anyways, um, okay, how do I, gosh, Vaughn is like, okay, she's a preacher's daughter, if you don't know. She is like, <laughs> to our team page, like, it's just, uh, it's hard to follow her. So let's see if I can do it. Um, okay, so basically, um, I'm Claire. And I am also, um, well, I'm a 12K leader, um, and I, I'm a little bit winded. <laughs> I just drove from Harriman as fast as I could to get this training um, and just worked 12 hours. So basically, my story is I have worked my butt off my entire life. Um, I've always had a hustle in me. I've always like had something extra going on, um, you know, and it's just always been something that has driven me. Like it, I, I knew that a nine to five was never what my purpose was because my mom worked so much. She was a workaholic, like 60 hours a week. She's 67. She's still working that and I never wanted to be that mom. Um, my dad, they're, they're married, but he basically raised me. Uh, I was always around him and he was a musician, you know, owned his entrepreneur owned company. So that's what I, that's, that's where my hustle comes from. And so, um, I've tried other companies, um, you know, and it just didn't work for me. It, I just couldn't catch the concept. I, I was working. I, I had small kids. I didn't have time to sit there and watch the Zooms and do all that. And so I came to this company in November after having Jalen. Um, I was super tired. I've been watching Candy. And um, I had just reconnected with her on Facebook. And I like, she's always been an uppity person, but like I saw like her energy and go like from this to this, like real quick. And she was on vacation and they had like these black and white labels. And I was like, Oh my gosh, that's cute. Um, and I had tried it before this girl, Tina Henson, um, 
she had given me a three-day sample sample when I worked at Metro PCS. So I knew the products worked. I loved them, but it was like $400 at the time. I couldn't afford that. And um, I was still doing it works at, at that time. Um, kind of a voodoo word there. <laughs> but um, so I was still like kind of still using their products. And I was like, no, girl, I got my greens. I don't need that. Um, so long story short, um, I joined in November after I had Jalen. I was super tired. I was breastfeeding. I was pumping. I was doing all the things like, oh, my gosh, it was just everything it was just horrible. And I was about to, my birthday was October 25th, but, um, my mom got me a Louis Vuitton purse. And so how can I like decline that? Right. <laughs> so I, um, asked, so what I did was I skipped out on one of my, um, rent payments and bought my promoter pack. Um, I didn't ask any questions. I just basically, watched the zooms and um tried to base just learn it on my own okay um it was the slow season like this is the boom season right now if y'all don't know if y'all just get into it it was the slow season and i was just you know i my first um vip was my family like my 800 vip i didn't hit hit any other rank and I didn't really do anything else other with it until um, my car broke down in January. My friend Jessica, I think she just felt bad for me. And she literally um, bought a pack for me. And that like started a fire under me. So I signed up Justin and it was like, boom, 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 boom. Like I did not mean for it to happen. No promotions were happening. No um like because way before then they were having like where you could get like the twenty thousand dollars and stuff like that crazy money but nothing was happening but like everything just started happening I was showing up on my stories every single day consistency is so important like I and yes I am guilty I do copy some people's stories because they're super cute and I'm not like y'all are so creative and I'm sorry and you can call me out on it, but I do need to get better at making my own stories because y'all, y'all really step it up on those stories. Um, especially the big leaders. So I need to step it up. I've got several areas. I need to step it up. Um, that is my goal. June 1st. Um, uh, well, no, I'm starting tonight. Like June 1st isn't even happening. I just popped a 4k. I just popped a VIP 800 tonight. Um, like I'm, I didn't maintain my 12 K, but it's okay. Like, I'm so proud of myself because between the accounts that I run, like I pulled in so much volume, I pulled in $12,000. Um, I just didn't get the auto bonus, which is okay with me. Um, I didn't know about pay checking. I didn't know about pay, um, matching until last night. So that's huge. Like I'm so excited about that. Rank is not anything you guys like rank is going to be the least of your worries. Um, I don't know who's here, but because if you are enrolling and constantly doing your VIPs constantly, every 14 days, starting over, starting over VIP, 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 enrolling, 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 you are going to see the biggest paychecks that you've ever seen. And, um, it's, it's crazy because of the infinity fast starts, like this double goat bonus. Um, we earned the Cali trip. It got canceled. I'm bummed. Like so much stuff happened. I was so grateful. I was reading the magic, but then the devil or the enemy or whoever, whatever it is, starts attacking you. And it is so hard. You all like with it's, it's true. When, when you rank up, it, 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 it hits you. Like I was on the, on the ride home, like cussing, not cussing candy out, but cussing Justin out at candy. Cause I'm like, I have to do all this. I'm trying to get home. I've been working 12 hours. I worked 12 hours a day just so I could try to, you know, get my last promotion in. 
Um, just all, it's just a lot and you have to take time for yourself. You have to self-develop. You have to make sure that you are in your mind frame. Um, Shavana sent me a great, um, devotional thing before I got here and I was listening to it. Um, it was wonderful. So I love that. Um, and basically it's like, if you're a single woman, you are nothing without an education. If you, you are nothing without, you are, I mean, you are nothing with an education. Do you all realize that? You are nothing. You are set on this planet for your skill set. Like you are nothing. You can have a PhD and make nothing. What you die for is what you are good at doing. So focus on what your goals are and focus on what you are good at doing. If you're good at talking to people, then you need to talk at pe talk to people. I mean, if you're good at selling, you need to sell. Going to school, wasting your time. I'm not saying school's a bad thing. School's great. School's wonderful. But what I'm saying is it's it's something that they've embedded in our heads for so long that this is a, the new norm and people are making millions of dollars by changing people's lives. So all I have to say, I don't know if any of this made sense because I'm just rambling and I'm trying to like get it all out there. But like, I just feel it so much in my heart that we're changing people's lives. I can't keep people like I have promoters calling me. Can you help me do this? Can you help me do that? I've tagged people in zooms. I've tried, I've, I've done everything I can do. You can only do so much. You cannot lead, lead whatever to the water, whatever the deer to the water. <laughs> you can lead the deer to the water, but you can't make it drink. However that goes. Okay. So basically all I'm saying is like, you have to pour into yourself. You have to keep it rolling. You have to not worry about that one promoter that says no. You have to keep going. You have to just just keep re-enrolling every 14 days. Every 14 days, just restart, restart, restart. And you're going to see your network go, grow. If you watch Lindsay's um, training on check matching, that changed everything for me. And I just recommend that this in the next like seven days of this month that you watch as many trainings as you can and pour into yourself as much as you can, because you have forgot, I have forgotten everything that I've learned since November. And if I'm not constantly relearning, then what am I, I'm doing myself a disservice and I'm not like, it's not going anywhere. No, I did not maintain my 12K but that's okay because bigger things are going to come and I'm okay with that. Um, I mean, we did $7,000 in volume and then my sister hit 4k. Like that's, that's 12k to me basically. So I'm just excited. I'm grateful for all of you all. I love you all. Um, I don't know if you have any questions. I don't know if I answered anything or made any sense. Cause I just rambled. I'm super nervous. It's my first training and that's that. <laughs> Yay. Everything you said was so true. Um, and Savannah, your tips were amazing too. It's, it's, it just shows how far you all have came in such a short amount of time. A year is not long in my opinion. Um, I feel like this whole tribe is just taken off this, this past, just the past few months. <laughs> Ignore my child. I'm done with her. Um, <laughs> But I honestly cannot even, I don't even know what's coming tomorrow, just tomorrow alone. I know that this month we ended, I think we're right at 58,000 in sales. That's insane. That's just me down. Like, I don't even know how close Brittany is to her 200K. It's insane. But we, I want you all to start looking at this as what it is. It's a movement. It's a culture. It's a different way of life. It's something that you want to, like, if you aren't 
so excited every day to wake up and take your products and talk about them, then that's where you need to start. You need to figure out what products you can be passionate about. Oh, she's hitting me in my side. Um, so yes, I want you all to be able to hear different girls come on here and do the trainings because I want you all to know, like, like just when I said, Oh, well, I have 58,000 in sales from you all, blah, blah, blah. A lot of you all just look at that as like, wow, like that's insane. And you may think, Oh, well, she's been doing this for longer or she's been doing that or blah, blah, blah. That's why I like everyone else to come on here because Claire's been 12 K Shavana just went 4 K and they've been working towards this for a while now. It's okay. You don't have to come in and go 4 K in 30 days. You don't have to come in and go 40 K in a year. Like it's everyone's journey is different. As long as you show up day in and day out, it's going to pay off. Your checks don't have to be $5,000 next week. Trust your journey, show up, um, let your story unfold the way that it's going to unfold. Just show up and do your part day in and day out and make sure that you are pouring into yourself more than you're doing absolutely anything else. Um, Kiana, do you have anything to share tonight? No. Okay. Um, so if you all have any questions about absolutely anything, drop them here, but I wanted to talk a little bit about June real quick. Um, so I don't know. I think usually he would probably be announcing like the lot next lifestyle getaway dude i'm about to throw this ipad away um but with the world being what it is right now i don't know but that's what i was thinking that he was going to announce tomorrow was the next lifestyle getaway because it's usually like several months away or whatever so i don't know if that's what it's going to be but I swear, I've told y'all over and over, I may sound like a broken record and y'all may be starting to be like, okay, Krista, like you've been saying bonuses are coming. You've been saying this, you've been saying that. Where's it at? I still think that they're coming. I still think things are about to get crazy. I still think that there may, some, may be some new products. There may be some something. Like, I don't think that they just took the duos off the website just to take them off and be like, okay, duos are done. They didn't even tell us you know what I mean like I feel like there's a reason so I don't know if they're going to do like a duo 2.0 or I know we have the ultra 2.0 or maybe they're going to do something or restock it or I don't know what they're going to do but I have a feeling that something is coming I don't think we even scratch the surface um I know M like us completely under M did 800,000 in sales this month Courtney Glaser's team hit 1 million in sales yesterday for the month that's a lot of thrive. That's a lot of three steps. That's a lot of everything, but that's what you're a part of. And if you feel as amazing as I do every morning, then that is, that's your job. You just show up and share that. Um, so the goal for June is what, what is your goals? I know I said this a little bit in the messenger that in messenger the other day in the chat, but what are your goals for June? What do you want? That's what I want you to talk about tonight. I'm going to throw her out the window. I'm going to beat her. What are, what's the problem? She needs to go to sleep. So I want you all to really think about your goals tonight. I want you to drop them in the, in the chat. If you don't care, you can drop like your basic ones. If you don't want to share personal ones, that's fine. Um, but I really want to know what everyone's goals are. Um, I po also posted earlier that I'll do one-on-ones the next three days. If you all want to take advantage of that, that's fine. All, we, all it is is we jump on a Zoom like this, um, chat about goals, chat about like I can go over your social media profile, see what you need to do, ask you what you're doing every day, um, like see if we can critique anything or see if you're missing something or something like that. So that's, that's what those one-on-ones are. I wanted to clear that up. Um, and absolutely anybody can take those spots. You can just message me. You can write in the chat a time. Um, but I want to know what you want. It doesn't have to be business related. I mean, of course you need a goal. Um, what products did they take? The duos. Um, it's like one of our patches. We have duo burns still on there, but the duos aren't on the website right now. Um, but I want to know, like, are you, is your goal 4k? So be like, show on it and step it up. So maybe you want to go 4k next month, but make your goal 6,000, make your goal 7,000, make it 12k. Um, like reach a little further because y'all have no idea how far you can go. The month that I went 4k, I went 4k by the middle of the month and had no idea it was about to happen. I went 4k by the middle of the month. And then by the end of the month, I was well over 12k. Like it was insane. It can happen so quickly, but it's because we show up consistently. It's because we show up, broke through what we're going through. Um, 
try new things. I want to do a thousand in June and 4K for July. That's, uh, that's perfect. Everyone's journey is different. So I really, like I said, I want you all to share your goals. I want, to, I want you to figure out what do you want. Um, like just this, this month alone in May, like I don't even know all the things. I have a whole running list of what I've wanted and what I've like marked off my list. Like I got a new bedroom suit yesterday. I um, got a new ring. I got a new computer. <laughs> I know y'all knew I was complaining about that forever. Like I got a MacBook like I wanted. Oh, we only have 10 minutes left. But just little stuff. It can be like, I want a new couch. I want a new car. Like write these things down. If you don't know what you want, what are you working towards? If you're just showing up every day just because that's fine, but you still need a destination. You still need to know what you want. And like I said, it can be like as simple as um, just a few weeks ago, or I guess it's been about a month ago, I went online and just bought whatever I needed for my kids for summer. It's been years since I could do that, like since I didn't have to stress that. Um, and I know I shared like a little bit about checks and stuff, but when you go from making a $24 check to a, in a year, you're making like a thousand a week. Is it worth it to work towards that? Is it worth showing up for those 24, $50, $75 checks? If you know that in a year or less, even just a few months, you can make a thousand dollars a week. Is that not insane? What can you do with that? If you had that money in your bank account right now, so say $4,000 hits in your bank account tomorrow, what are you going to do with it? Do you know? Do you know exactly what bills you would go pay, how much they are? Do you know what you would buy? Do you know what you need? That's what I want you all to think about. I want you all to know what you need, know what you want, and know what you're working towards this month. Um, so yeah, if anyone has anything to add to that, um, you can unmute yourself and ask a question or add to that. We have about eight minutes left. If not, then I will end it. I just want to add that, um, sorry, Shavana, like. Go ahead. I want to uh, hear it. Okay. I had so many people in my inbox saying, why are you trying to go 12K when there's not a bonus? And they could never be more wrong or 4K or anything for that matter like I still have just 12k I can go 12k when they pop a bonus if they do if they don't it doesn't matter it's not about bonuses we are changing lives if you are chasing a paycheck you are in the wrong business you need to go work in nine to five we are here to change lives this patch right here delivers premium grade nutrition all day long like these products right here these products right here are life changing. They are saving people's lives. They are pe letting people live longer. Like it's crazy. And we are getting ready to get a stem cell rejuvenation. Thing. I don't know. This company is changing lives. So if you are here to chase a, a, a whatever, um, compensation pack, then you're in the wrong place. Like you need to be trying to change lives every day clearly it's just to let you know that we think alike because i was about to touch sort of kind of on the same thing but i was gonna say if you are new to this business like if you're new you've been here a while or whatever you just lack a little bit of motivation what i want to say is if you can't motivate yourself you're not going to be able to motivate a team so you want to thrive for free, then you can just do that. You want grocery money, then you should just go for that. But if you want 4K, 12K to actually build a lifestyle, you're not chasing a check. You're chasing a lifestyle because what is that, like Krista said, what is that check going to do for you? What would $4,000 in your bank account do for you? Like the second I hit 4K, I remember as it was like a countdown, I was like 300 away. And then Candy was like, oh my God, I'm so excited. This is about to happen because I was signing a girl while I was on a Zoom. I actually signed two girls before the Zoom was over. And she was like, you're going to be 4K by the morning. And I was like, I'll be 4K in 30 minutes. Just give me a moment. And I made that happen because I'm not thinking about 
the money. I'm not thinking about a check. I'm thinking about the lifestyle that I am trying to build. Like I sat my girls down because my son's too. He doesn't have an opinion yet. So I sat my girls down and I was like, what do you all want? Because they know what I want. And my daughter was like, when you build our dream home, when you get where you want to go, I want a pink room. So I'm like, okay, we'll talk about it. You know, like you got goals, girl. So I'm like, okay, uh, we'll pink room. My five-year-old was like, I want to go to Disney World. Hey, she's five. So I'm like, all right, but bet you both of those things went on my dream board. Both of those things are going up there because I want to do that for them. Like bonuses, don't keep me up at night. I have missed tons of bloom seasons. And it's not because I wasn't showing up. It's not because I wasn't sharing my product or did, uh, that I lacked passion. It's It wasn't my time to do it. But I'm so lifestyle driven. I'm not money driven. I see the lifestyle I want. And I'm not going to let up because that's what's going to get me there. Passion is going to win over the bonuses because when those bonuses go away, are you still going to show up the same? Are you still going to be able to get up, do your sales, post your stories, get in your team chats, motivate them? If you're losing focus, they're going to lose focus. If you lose your way, they'll lose their way. So you need to be able to lead. I'm sorry, somebody's driving by and I'm outside. But anyway, that's what I wanted to add. Like, make sure that you're leading with your heart, not with a bonus on the line. Because there are going to be moments, like this year, they have not dropped the bonus. Like they said, they have not dropped the bonus since last year. Are you still going to be able to show up the same? Can I um, say a prayer if nobody else has anything else to say? Yep, you're good. Uh, are you sure? I don't want to, like, take up the time. We only have three minutes left on here anyway, so go for it. We have 30 minutes? Three minutes. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say, okay, we can talk forever. Okay. 